May, and today we are going to play Pokemon Sword version episode 42, I think. <laughs> Welcome to the next video or episode of Pokemon Sword. Oh snap, I'm excited for Christmas. I can't believe Christmas is almost here. Yay! At the time of this recording, it is one week before Christmas Eve. If this goes up on Sunday like it's supposed to, then it's less than a week till Christmas. I am super duper excited. I hope that y'all are too. We are gonna be continue on, continuing on in the whole like post game stuff. I'm pretty sure that's the plan. Um, so definitely make sure that you hit that like button if you are excited like I am. Also, I didn't mention, you know, peep the merch store by following the link down in the description to pick up some of your very own Hashtag save the low tads merch and anything else? Oh, yeah, if you're not subscribed, definitely hit the thingy, the subscribe button, and ring the little bell so that way you'll know when new stuff goes up on the channel. All that fun stuff. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the action of today's video. Alrighty, we will start with a team recap. And if my hair looks different today, it's because I used this volumizing heat protector. It's like a mousse. I didn't straighten it. I just did the, the blow dryer on it, but it just, it seems different. It's very much more like poof compared to normal. I don't know. Maybe it's just me thinking it is. I don't know. Y'all can let me know. Yikes. I definitely need to heal. Um, and I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go next. Am I supposed to go talk to Sonya? Probably at the per lab thingy place? Probably. That didn't tell me where to go. Um, but we will just, you know what? We'll just ride our bicycle. I think our outfit is super cool looking. I know there are other ways to update your outfits. I just don't remember how. But, um, oh, I was going to do a team recap and I just, <laughs> I showed the team and then was like, whoa, we're low on health. Okay, I see there's a little bit of a delay between my audio and, like, visual. Wait, I want to go to the Pokemon Center first. So, seeing that, I might need to take a quick pause and try resetting some stuff. Is it still doing it? Womp womp. Well, that's a little bit of a lag. I don't know if y'all can tell it uh, in the video or not, or if it's just going to... Yeah, there's a, a big lag. So, I'm going to heal up real quick, and then I will stop this recording and then pick back up in a minute and hopefully that'll give my recording software a chance to like uh get it together a little bit <laughs> but we're all healed up so i'm going to uh real quick make a quick cut y'all won't even notice if, I'm, if i if i hadn't brought attention to it so uh yeah i'll brb <laughs> Alrighty, let's hope that that helped we shall see <laughs> um it's been a crazy weekend let's see do i need any like items or whatnot i think we're good on like potions and stuff um max potions we have 14 hyper po man i might go ahead and buy a few more just because i don't know what we're about to encounter can i even buy that here oh this is like the first one i might not can even yeah they have max potions okay we're good we're good where are we um, full restores, I have plenty. Max potions, I have 14. So I'm gonna buy just a few more. Yeah, 11 will work. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I hope that all of y'all are doing so well. I'm not sure exactly where I'm supposed to go. My computer, I have been editing, uh, some, like, because my mom works at a church and a school, she does music at both of those places, and music due to Corn Cop 19 has, like, not been a thing. Um, she has wanted to do virtual uh musicals and plays and whatnot and so that's not where i'm supposed to go <laughs> so i've been doing all of that stuff i've been editing i've literally spent over 60 hours editing videos uh this last like week and a half and so i'm exhausted and i wanted i'm worried about my computer i've deleted all the stuff that was used on my computer to hopefully uh, I'm really hoping that my computer will work is basically what I'm saying. I'm worried it's been overloaded. My poor little Mac, I'm worried he's overloaded, but <laughs> hopefully we're good to go. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Professor Sonia, you have a visitor. Hey, mate. Hey, it's me. Sonia knows what's up. Uh, glad you're here. Um, you got an assistant? Spot on! I've been busy with my research, so I decided to bring on some extra help. I'm gonna scooch a little closer. Sorry if that makes me super loud in the mic. That's why I can lean back a little. <laughs> my back has been killing me. I've been sitting in this chair for like, like I said, like 10 hours a day. It's been insane. 
Um, <clears throat> I've been keeping all the wishing stars that Chairman Rose had been gathering here in the lab. Things have been a little hectic around here, but my assistant has been handling things in a proper fashion. She's really been helping me keep things afloat. I really haven't been doing all that much. You're May, the champion, right? I'm really glad I get to meet you. It's an honor, truly. Come here for a moment, would you? There's something I want you to have a look at. Okay, so we're gonna go up with Sonya and see what she wants to show us. That's exciting. I feel like my hair looks weird. But, uh, you know what? It's, it's the moose. It's the moose. <clears throat> okay. You remember my power spot detector, right? It detects where places... No, it detects places where Dynamaxing is possible. I am recording... Yes. Basically, when there's a high concentration of Gala particles, the readings spike. And that's how I figured it out. The power spot detector reacted when those two got close. What does that mean? <laughs> Basically, following the readings from the power spot detector, you might be able to find those sword and shield weirdos. Okay. Good job, Sonya. Swordbird and Shieldbird might claim to be royalty with their weird fancy names, but it's easier to just call them weirdos, don't you think? <laughs> Let's get back on topic, though. I place power spot detectors all around Gala, and now it's their time to shine. Power spot detectors access! She's typing on her phone like me responding to a risky text or something, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, like one of those texts whenever you're like, oh, is, is this person going to get mad at me? Like, or you're telling like your crush that you like them, and you're like, oh, it's a risk, but you gotta take it. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> What's this telling me? Oh, oh! Turfield, there's a power spot there. Whoa, whoa! That's a way bigger reaction than I would have thought! Looks like it's coming from Turfield Stadium. You could always Dynamax Pokemon at the stadium, so that's not exactly unusual. But these readings are way higher than normal. It can be Itanatus. You already caught it. Maybe it's something related to those sword and shield weirdos. You could go check it out, May, since you're our snazzy new champion and all. Ah, uh, hi, I'm a snazzy new champion and all. <laughs> I've set up your town map to show where the strong particle reactions are coming from. So, have a look at it. Perfect. Alright, town map. If I can click the right button. You know that's a challenge for me if you've been watching my videos for a while. Um, so yeah. Uh, Turfield? Yeah, you can see the giant explanation point. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. The family is on their way home. <laughs> okay, well, can I click it? Okay, yeah. You can't fly attack. Okay. <laughs> I can't fly from within a building? What? <clears throat> okay. I'll leave you looking into Turfield. I'll leave looking into Turfield to you. I'll stay here and try to look into those rude weirdos. Oh my gosh, I love her chair. Or it's like a blanket on her chair. I absolutely love it. I love it. Okay. Oh, can we go up these stairs? <gasps> we can! Oh, that's so cool. I want one of those in my house. What do they call that? It's not a planetarium, obviously. What do they call it, though? If you know that name of that thingy, let me know, because those, those are really cool. I would love one of those in my house. Um, yeah. Alrighty then. Oh, look at her pillows! They match her blanket. Oh my gosh. Is it a terrarium? I think it's a terrarium. My brain is all over the place today. I've not had caffeine, I promise. I don't know. <laughs> okay then. That was cool. Alright, so now we are gonna... We can call a flying taxi. Whoops, I was where I needed to be. I'm so used to hitting Pokemon and going to fly through Pokemon. Like... You'd think I would know better by now, because I've been playing this game for, like, over a year. <laughs> but I still can't get it right. Oh, I, you know what? I think I lowered my chair the other day, because I was trying to do anything I could to make my back stop hurting. And I bet that's why I feel a little different, because I'm like, I feel lower. That's probably what it is. Okay, so I'm guessing we'll go into here. Since we see the whole power spot thing jumping around. <laughs> And I might have to take a pause 
uh, whenever my family comes in because I'm hearing their car doors and I know the dogs are going to start barking. Hmm, you're... Hello there, champion. So you came. I like Milo. I know everybody hates on Milo. I really like him. I think he's an absolute sweetheart. Um, what's going on here? Oh, I, I'm not British. What's going on here? <laughs> ha! How carefree can you be? You're the new champion. Oh, wait, he needs... What was his voice? Pierce? Would he... he oh, you know what? I think he would sound like Loki. Maybe. I don't know. He's probably not quite as refined as Loki, so maybe not. I don't know. You're the new champion. You're bigger than a Dynamax Pokemon right now. I was actually in the middle of an exhibition match with Pierce. There's the dogs barking. Then this Dynamax Pokemon came charging in. The audience and staff already took shelter. I don't know where these accents are coming from. <gasps> okay. I've got everyone who was seated on those on the north side of the stadium evacuated. You must have heard, right? More Dynamax Pokemon are running amok. Running amok. <laughs> amok, like the Pokemon muck. Huh? <laughs> Much obliged, Top. I'd expect nothing less from a gym challenger. I knew we could count on you. I lost in the semi-final, so... Hey, May! I chased those red and blue guys and saw them head into Tuffield Stadium. Then I heard that uproar, and there was no way I could leave it alone. I had to help out. So, uh, sorry. I actually lost sight of them in all the rush. Hmm. Those suspicious characters you saw are concerning. But for now, I think we should get this Dynamax Pokemon to settle down first. I need my dogs to settle down. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> I'd be glad for your help against such a tough looking opponent, Champion May. Of course. Sure, why not? All right, then let's head into the pitch. I'll lend a hand to you. I don't blame the Pokemon, of course, but I'm still just a bit miffed they upstaged me. You come too, bro, of the old champion. I don't know how much I can really help. If I come along, I might just end up slowing the rest of you down. I don't really know the guy, but I don't think Leon would be all lost about it. Though he does get actually lost a lot. You coming? Uh, okay. Alright. Here we go then. <laughs> Piers might look scary, but he's great look at looking after others. He's a big brother after all. Hush puppies. All right, we should get going too. I'm like, I I wait and I let them, and I think they're done barking, and then I start talking, talking, and they start barking again. Do you pronounce the L in talking and walking, or is it just me? <laughs> Talk, walk. Yeah. Okay, it's a... Serena. It's a Serena. A, a Serena. I can't say it. I don't know how to say it, but it's fine. I think the T is silent. Serena. So, okay, who do I have? Conehead? Oh, I'm, a, I'm super weak to this thing. Yikes. Okay. Um, no, Ice type is super effective. Eternatus is super effective. Um, Raven is super effective. Hmm, let's go to Raven. Yeah, we'll go into Raven because Raven is super effective. I think Raven can handle this. I know Conehead cannot. <laughs> he is a rock water type, and this thing is a grass. This is a grass fairy. Or a grass. Looks like a grass fairy type. It could just be a grass type, honestly, but I don't know. It's a cool design. I like it. I love the colors pink and green. Okay, please don't attack me. Oh, good. You attacked. Oh, but that's super effective. Rip. Poor Hop. Oh. Okay. Wait, Milo has a flapple? What? Wait, that is what that's called. Appling. Appleton Flapple. Yes, that's a Flapple. <laughs> For a second I was like, wait a minute. Okay, this takes forever whenever I don't actually get to do anything. <laughs> I wanna do stuff! Okay, 
<clears throat> this arena got our health back so we can oh I can't dynamax because I just switched in okay that's okay drill pack is still gonna be super effective <sighs> if I had known it was gonna be oh I wonder if the dynamax Pokemon are they gonna match the typing to that gym because before I go in I could like I could think that if the grass type is gonna be in throat chop that sounds painful nullified the stat changes and abilities play rough on oh well oh oh the, there's sly noon's sly noon's evolution galar form a uh, galarian form oh i can't think of what it's called all of a sudden oh it's gonna drive me insane we're gonna use drill pack again wait can i dynamax yet no okay <laughs> still not i'm gonna take this we're gonna have her go down before i can even dynamax yeah it's all good no worries Obstagoon. That's. I'm glad it showed that. There we go. Okay, so we took her down. And she's normal again. It's like, oh, okay. She's back to normal being sweet. Magu. 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 Okay. I don't know why I. I <laughs> Milo used to revive. Shanari. Don't know what Shanari means, but okay. Phew. Phew. That's probably more what it's like. Phew. Looks like things have finally calmed down a bit. This Dynamax stuff, no matter how many times I see it, I still don't like it. I can see you dislike. Your dislike of Dynamaxing still hasn't changed, Pierce. I love Milo. Oh my gosh. Look how precious he is. I know he doesn't really have a nose. But that's okay. <laughs> I've got a big enough nose for both of us. <laughs> <clears throat> but there was definitely something off about that Dynamax transformation. There wasn't any trainer anywhere. And the Pokemon seemed like it couldn't even control the power itself. Quite right. Normally a Pokemon needs to respond to a Dynamax band in order to Dynamax, but seems there was some discord in the harmony between trainer and Pokemon. Did you feel anything unusual, May? I did. <laughs> I'm wearing my Jingle Bell earrings, so when I nod my head, I'm sure you can hear it. <clears throat> so you noticed something was off, too. So there's no trainer to be found. This really is a mystery wrapped in an enigma. It's an enigma. I'll make sure Turfield's gym takes good care of this Pokemon for the time being. You lot really helped me out here. Thanks for that. Oh, and May, look how happy he is. If you should ever need my help, feel free to call me anytime. I got you. We got his rare lead card. Oh, you know, for a time I was going through all the lead cards and like <laughs> reading them and stuff, and I've like not done that now. All right, then follow me, little Serena. Sorry, Sharn, Sharn, Mari. <laughs> I can't read words. I'm trying to like sound it out. Well, well, well. Looks like that Dynamax nonsense has calmed down. Well, 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 the champion, as expected. Ding, ding, ding. Ah, it's you two. I knew you'd be here. Give the rusted shield back. Well, I never. It's not like it's something that belongs to you either. Even if it was yours, we wouldn't give it back. What's with these two? Get over here so I can battle you. Who are these guys? Spectators and staff shouldn't be should have been evacuated. The normal rules simply just don't apply to us. I hate people that feel like the rules don't apply to them. Just saying it like really hates a strong word. I shouldn't say that. But I don't like it when people think the rules don't apply to them. Takes me off. <laughs> the normal okay, apply to us. Yes, that's what it means to be celebrities. What? <laughs> Pierce face an explanation, like, not explanation, but like response is great. Who is this ruffian to question us? You're just someone with strange taste in hairstyles. Okay, there's the pot calling the kettle black. They both have interesting, strange hairstyle. His entire style is complete black and white nonsense. Isn't it, older brother? You think I'd put any faith in words from rude little punks like you? But it seems your experiment was a success, younger brother. Quite, quite. 
Next time, let us try to Dynamax an even stronger Pokemon. Oh, yes, yes. At least, at last, we shall reveal the true nature of Zacian and Zamazamazita. What was that about, Zacian and Zamazamazita? You despicable champion. We're going to keep letting Dynamax Pokemon run wild. If you want to stop us, do your best to chase after our splendid looking bottoms. What? More like celebrity bottoms. And with that, farewell. So you were the ones who caused all this. Stop! Calm down, Hop. You got don't gotta act so hard. But but they're getting away. Yeah, and they could be leading us to a trap. It's a bad idea to run unprepared. But still. Ugh, fine. You're right, I get it. Good. Let's all calm down for a sec. Thanks to them running their mouths, we know their goal is to force Pokemon to Dynamax. True. I got a security camera notification, so I was just checking the door. <laughs> and that they plan to continue doing it. We have to stop them. Yeah! This is no time to be hung up on getting back the rusted shield. May, Pierce, we've got to stop those two. Agreed. Alright, so now what happens? Um, so now I can check my town map and see where they're going, correct? Okay, they're not up there. Well, I don't see them anywhere. Oh, maybe I can't do that. Okay, let me talk. How are those two making Pokemon Dynamax without any Dynamax fans? Where would those red and blue buffoons have gone off to next? Let's head out and look, May. Okay, so. We're going this way. Okay, we're in a cutscene. Ah, there you are, May. Things are a right proper mess. Oh, she's upset. I thought she was smiling. She's upset. Just when I thought the Galapagos count t around Turfield had calmed down, I started getting huge Galapagos readings from Holberry Stadium and Motostoke Stadium. So what exactly happened at Turfield Stadium? Explain everything, exactly what happened. Yeah, I'm not an exaggerator. I try not to be. <laughs> what? A Dynamax Pokemon went on a rampage? Huh, those sword and shield weirdos did it? Oh, Sonia. Hmm. Hop and Pierce? Pierce, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be back in spike mood? I'm an ex-gym leader. I can be whatever I want. It's not that weird. <laughs> More importantly, you said there were Dynamax Pokemon at other stadiums. Yes, I'm getting the same readings in other towns as I was from Turfield Stadium. I'm worried about Marnie. Ah, uh, but Spike with Jim should be okay, right? I'm only seeing Reetons from Hullberry Stadium and Motostake Stadium. Ah, I see. That's so sweet he's concern concerned about his little siblings. His little sister and, like, Leon is his brother, Hop. It's like, they I love it. It's so sweet. If Pokemon are being forced to Dynamax and running wild, there's no way I can simply sit by and watch. What do you say, May? Um, let's head after, let's head to the stadium. One of those stadiums, something like that. Heh, <laughs> that's the spirit champion. Leave those sword and shield weirdos to me. I can poke around in the net for sightings of them. We'll leave the research into this, uh, Sonya. Was it? We should go to the other uh, stadiums and help out. I can't read. Okay, so we can fly, correct? Do we need to, like run okay they're just gonna stand there so we're gonna fly so this is hullberry so that's gonna be a raw a water type most likely and then that's motostoke which is where it's gonna be a fire type so let's fly to hillberry first hullberry <laughs> hillberry hullberry first and then I'm gonna real quick switch me Pokemons around. I don't know where that accent was coming from. And let's put Sniffle in the lead because he's our electric water type. 
not water, ice. He'll be strong against the water type. I can't read and uh, speak at the same time. We'll ride our bicycle. We'll get there faster if we go this way. Oh, I, I hit the I hit the Y button. <laughs> I meant to hit B to give me a speed boost, and I hit Y. Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartbreak. Here we go. We're in the right spot. Oh, Nessa hair. I love it. I love Nessa hair. If you've not, if you're new to the series, definitely check out the videos where I had Nessa hair. I'll uh, link them over this way. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't get too close, you lot. Things are pretty dangerous here. We know the situation. Oh, the staff inspected is all right. Yes, they took shelter just a short while ago. You know, the more I look at you three, the more I see how odd a little group you are. Tch, leave us alone. We came here to help you out. And I'm grateful for it. That Dynamax Pokemon's power is so intense, I'm sure it'd give me much trouble. It'd give me trouble. I'd feel a lot more confident about it if you all join me in battle. Let's do it. Alrighty then, here we go. Here we go, y'all. Let's see if my theory was correct where the depending on the type of gym is the type of Pokemon we're battling. Yes, he's a water type. Wait, Gyarados is not like a flying dragon type, is he? He's water, right? He, if he's flying, is he flying? What? Why am I thinking? I don't know. I can never remember Gyarados' typing because it was always like odd to me. But it must be water type. I'll know in a second. Okay. Dynamax gathered around me. Cool. Okay. So yeah, he must be. We're gonna Dynamax and use... Max Hailstorm isn't... Okay. The um, Freeze Dry is super effective because it's a water... He's a water type. But whenever I Dynamax, it's not because it's just a normal ice type move. So we're going to use Max Lightning on the Gyarados. I think y'all understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Do I understand what I'm saying? Maybe. <laughs> Alright. We're throwing the giant Pokeball. Our little Sniffle is getting big. Yay! I love it. So cool. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And there's the giant Gyarados. Max Geyser. Who's he attacking me? Probably. No, he's attacking Obstacoon. Dang, Obstacoon lived it. Good for Obstacoon, I'll tell ya. Okay. It started to rain. Snipe shot. That's not gonna do much. Yeah. Okay, it's not very effective. I, I knew that one. Throat chop. That sounds painful. <laughs> Just saying. Rock Tomb. Okay. It's super effective. Oh, and it lowered his speed. Okay. And now Max Lightning. Go Sniffle. Go Sniffle. Hey, hey, go Sniffle. Good job, Sniffle. Yeah. <clears throat> and the field was electrified. An electric current ran across the battlefield. And that, that was quick, though. So, if we go to Moto Soak next, which is fire type that I need to put, uh... Conehead in the lead. <laughs> because of everyone's help, no one was hurt and we were able to turn the tide of the situation. I'll keep that Pokemon at Hellberry Stadium until it can fully recover. May, if you ever need my help, just let me know. Thanks, Nessa. We got our lead card in our album. I suppose I'll see you later then. Thank you so much for your help, truly. Okay. And so now, it's just me. Champion! Yeah, I'm the champion! Okay, so, if we look here, this is where we need to go next. That one was really quick, so should we go ahead and do this? I don't remember how long this video, I because I had done the short, like I said, a brief recording part, and then I had to cut because of the, the lag. Um, Let me see what we're looking like. So this is going to probably be a fire type. So I don't want to have Sniffle in the lead. That's for sure. So let's put Conehead in the lead. <clears throat> should we try this? I think we should go for this and just see what happens. My hair is being so weird. Okay. <laughs> oh, look. There's a little uh, Serena um, uh, pre-evolution. It's so cute. Is it like a sweet knee or something like that? Okay. Where's my bicycle button? Excuse me, sir. Okay. We gonna ride real quick, ride up to the platform, and we gonna go. Whoopity boop boop boop. 
If that was like IRL, I'd probably fall over. <laughs> and we'll go right into the gym. Right into the stadium. Gym, stadium, same difference, I guess. Oh, look, and there's Kabu! Champion May, and Pierce, and Hop, too. Mr. Kabu, I'm glad you remember me. Of course I do. You two were red hot, after all. I'll never forget seeing you off after you'd compete completed your first leg of the gym challenge. I don't think we've really got the time for a friendly chin wag. A friendly chin wag. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like this. I've not had caffeine today. I don't know why I'm like this. I don't think I had caffeine today. I ate a banana. Maybe that did it. <laughs> right, actually, the situation's getting pretty bad over at the stadium. Yeah, that'd be where we're headed. No, that'd be why we're here. Oh, brilliant. The opponent's a bit much to take on single-handedly, so I was wondering what to do. Sorry I can't read. <laughs> but with you all at my side, I'm confident. My confidence in this battle is burning brighter than by the minute. Let's begin. Okay, so Hop's going to have a water type. I'm going to have a water type. He's going to have a fire type. And Pierce is going to have obstacle. So, I think we can handle it, though. If I was right. It's a Torkoal! <clears throat> I love Torkoal. It's Fire Turtle versus Water Turtle! Aww! Drought. Oh, it is hot up in here. <laughs> the sunlight turned harsh. Well, I'm gonna make it rain. Just saying. So, we're gonna Dynamax, and we're gonna use Max Geyser. Yeah! Is Torkoal a rock fire type? I feel like he is. I could have looked if my rock type move would have been super effective. Um, I think he's a rock. Is he a ground fire type? I know Camerupt is a ground fire type. Or at least I think he is. <gasps> I say I know, but then I'm like, I think. Yo, it's turtle versus turtle. Turtle versus tortoise. Yeah, it's super effective. Good job, Hop. All right, Max Geyser. Oh. That did hardly anything. It's super effective, but wow, his defense must be insane. At least it started to rain. So that's gonna, oh, I bet that's why it did so poorly was because of, um, it was drought. Oh, that's not, gonna, his moves aren't gonna do much. Oh, but it did lower his defense, so that's good. Max Flare. Okay, that's not gonna do as much because it's raining. But is that gonna, that should, he has drought, but it is rain. No, it did. Dang it, it dried up the battlefield. So every time I try to, Max Rockfall is, is super effective. Uh, you know what, let's give it a try. Because our water type moves are not gonna be as powerful in the drought, so let's try the rock type moves and just see what happens. Maybe he is a ground fire type. Maybe he's pure fire. I don't know. He looks like he would be a rock type. There we go. That's what we were needing, y'all. Yay! Oh, it got dusty up in here. A sandstorm kicked in. We did it! Yay! These really aren't taking me that long. I'm actually impressed with myself. It's because, I guess, the computer player, the CPUs... Wait, what do they call it? non-playable character. NPCs are actually pretty good. <laughs> I had to think what's the actual word to know what the initials were. <clears throat> Looks like we were able to extinguish things this time. I'll let this Pokemon rest here at Motostoke Stadium until it gets back it until it gets its energy back. And May, should you uh, have need of my help, please do not hesitate to ask. Thank you, Kabu. I appreciate it. Don't worry. I know. You all have more work that needs to be done, yes? Go forward, youths. I wish you well. He, like, jogs everywhere. I need to start doing that, honestly. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, my Rotom phone is, like, freaking out. May, May. That your Rotom phone ringing? Oh my gosh, I love that. It's like, it pops up in your face. It's so cool, I love it. May, we've got trouble. Those two weirdos have showed up at the Pokemon lab. What? Sonya, are you alright? They keep rudely demanding I hand over wishing stars. I'm alright for now, but get over here quick, okay? These guys are right creepy. Beep. Oh, snap. What are those two doing going after wishing stars? We've got to help Sonya and get back the rusted shield. 
Let's hurry to the Pokemon lab. He really doesn't think anything through. Sure does make him seem a proper fool. Nah, I guess the word would be reckless. We're headed to the Pokemon lab next, right? Guess I'll stick by you till we see this through. And this is actually, since it's been like 30 something minutes, this is where I will call it an episode. <gasps> It's almost Christmas. I'm super duper excited and I'm gonna send it on over to Facecam for the outro. Ah, you guys, this is so exciting! I cannot wait to see what is about to happen in the next video that will be after Christmas. I know come January life's gonna get crazy and so uh, the content might be a little more sporadic, but I am very, very excited about, um, I love getting to play this game and I hope that y'all enjoy the videos. Like I said, if you do, hit the thumbs up button. Um, also, oh, oh crud, I thought of, oh, answer the question of the day uh, down in the comments. <laughs> totally forgot what I was about to say. It just left my brain. I needed to go fix supper and eat. Maybe, I, like I said, I've only had a banana today, so maybe I at least, maybe food will help me. <laughs> But I thank all of y'all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Um, I hope that you have a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday Season. And please, please, please stay safe and stay healthy. And I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. Bye.